Hello everyone, welcome to another review and this week is a graphic novel called Preacher Book 1. Preacher Book 1 features the first 12 ish issues of this comic. Uh, it was written by Garth Ennis, why do I keep missing up his name? Garth Ennis and Steve Dillon. It was released in 19, this book sorry, was released in 1996. The issues were released throughout 1995 I guess up till March 1996. Uh, this is going to be a sw short and sweet review because I find graphic novels are hard to really elaborate on because it's a lot of visuals. The plot is that Mr. Jesse here is a preacher and he's possessed by a hybrid of a demon and a angel. And uh, it's like the spirit of it and he, be he then becomes almost like as powerful as God. And uh, he, as a preacher, he kind of lost his faith. Uh, and at the same time, as he's lost his faith, he goes on this drunken rampage, rant, not rampage, rant. And then the, uh, the hybrid Genesis, it's called, possesses him, the spirit, because it breaks free of its captivity and finds a host. And I guess it can relate to him in some sense. Jesse has a really rich backstory, which is revealed in one of the later issues in this book. Uh, but there's a, a nice supporting cast, uh, such as his ex-girlfriend, Tulip, who he has a history with. And then he ends up running into her in the beginning of this. There's a man named Cassidy, who's actually a vampire, but he's not evil. Uh, there is a bounty hunter spirit demon thing called the Saint of Killing, who is awesome. Uh, he has like this Western vibe. And he's uh, tasked with bringing down Genesis for whatever reason. I don't know the depths of the plot yet. I just know his backstory and I know that once Genesis possessed him, uh, he gained his, Genesis's consciousness in a sense, like his memories. So he still take, he's still in control consciously, but now he's found a mission in life and he wants to find God. Literally, not figuratively, he literally wants to find God because the, <laughs> one of the quirks of the story is that God decided to retire and he's living on earth somewhere and he has to and now he wants to find him i believe he wants to find him to ask him something or kill him i'm not sure i don't think it's to kill him but yeah so that's one of the quirks it's very entertaining it's very very fast paced it's funny and there's like a lot of side stories that may may or may not directly interact with the main plot but they support it quite well and i think they're all necessary ultimately that's all I have to say. Uh, pretty short and sweet this time. Check out Preacher Volume 1. I'm going to read all the volumes and review them all. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe. I hope you like my new space. I think this is the second video now with my new background spot. And I'm getting used to, like, I'm standing now. So I'm used to being sitting and static. But now I'm standing, so I'm trying to get used to staying. In, and I'm hoping that I'll be in the shot. I'm going to have to check that out. You'll see me talking about this anyway. Take care. See you guys next time.